I am the rightful queen of this country, forced to fight my way into my own kingdom. Matilda the Empress is about the first queen that never was. And in fact, she's been scrubbed from history because uh, history is written by men and it's written by winners. Now, Matilda was a woman and arguably she was a loser of her ongoing battle to take back what was rightfully hers. By the grace of God, I am King Henry I and she is the future queen, Matilda. Right from the beginning, I really wanted to tell this story because it's sadly still incredibly relevant. What do we think about women becoming rulers of a whole nation? It shouldn't even be a question, but it is. For people at the time, that was a very new thing. It was very hard for them to get their heads around the idea that a woman was going to rule. My name's Danny, and I play Matilda the Empress. Did Matilda never get the crown because she's a woman, or was it because she was arrogant and proud. She's a deeply flawed character, but she's also very funny. The fact that some of the things Matilda did were exactly the same as the things her father did. The way she spoke, the way she acted, the way she behaved to her colleagues, but they just couldn't accept it because she was considered a difficult woman. My name is Scott Ainsley and I'm playing Brian, who is the sort of childhood sweetheart of the lead character Matilda and they probably would have been together, but their love wasn't allowed to exist in Henry's world. This is a world you have to sort of understand. It's very brutal. Justice isn't necessarily going to happen in this play, and it makes it very dangerous. The way that we like to work, or certainly have done in the past, is um, to write quite filmically. There's kind of a sound underpinning the whole thing to really bring out the atmosphere. We normally have surround sound as well, which helps to kind of give you that extra level of of detail yeah. and depth. Adventurous. Powerful. Provocative. Frustrating. Dynamic. Anarchic. Beguiling. And epic. Um.